Let's get some common sense on retirement planning now with Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. Craig, it's common for people who are close to retirement age to think of ways to get ready. What are your do's and don'ts? Angela, getting retired, staying retired, mission critical. And like all things in life, there's some foundational items, table stakes that need to occur. And likewise, there's some items that absolutely have to be avoided. So let's talk a little bit about the do's and the don'ts. Number one on my list of do's, you absolutely do need to know exactly how much income you're going to require from your investment portfolio to make your retirement work. I mean, you have to be honest about what your budget's going to be. Getting the cash flow right, it's a critical ingredient to getting the investment allocation right. After all, your investment plan needs to be aligned perfectly with your cash flow needs. Number two, you do have to prepare for the unexpected. Preparedness and flexibility are basic trademarks when it comes to retirement planning. Make sure you know moving into retirement that you have a dedicated emergency fund and ample reserves as life has a way of kicking us in the shins every once in a while. And number three on my list of dues is you have to maintain a dynamic retirement plan. I mean, the best retirement plan is a well-laid plan that addresses your family's, your unique strengths identifies opportunities, and of course, a plan that does the mitigation against the threats that we all face. But the world is constantly changing. The arc of life is dynamic, and that's why people should partner with a trusted advisor. That's the value in retirement planning today. And what about the don'ts? Well, here's three big don'ts. Number one, don't ignore inflation. I mean, inflation's effect on retirees, it's not always as obvious as it's been in the past year when we all saw it. We call inflation the silent killer because typically over the course of a 20 to 30 year retirement, if it's not consistently addressed, that inflation slowly eats away at purchasing power. And next thing you know, your retirement can be in jeopardy. Part number two, don't fall in love with what worked recently as what worked recently might not work tomorrow. I mean, it can be so tempting to think that what worked investment-wise or strategy-wise for the past three to four years is going to be the same thing that works for the next three to four years to come. You know, case in point, markets move through these long-term secular cycles and you don't want to get anchored to recency bias. I remind everybody about something called the lost decade. Yes, we nicknamed it the lost decade. There was a period in time in America where the S&P 500 made literally no money for 10 years. You got to make sure you have diversified global multi-asset class portfolios in order to make things work over time. And number three on my list of don'ts, do not get, don't get emotional. Fear, greed, regret, they can all be the enemies of a well-laid plan. Stay disciplined, commit to a systematic, repeatable process, preferably one that's been TNT, tested in the trenches, and that'll help increase the odds you get through. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. We exist to help people like you get retired and stay retired. Engage with us on the web investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV. 